I'm Julie from Fabric Garden Quilt Shop and today we're going to go over month two of the Rose and Bloom block of the month. These are the fabrics here that you'll be uh, receiving in your kit this month and as you can see these are the fabrics that you've are the blocks that you've already made from last month. Um, so these are the blocks we're going to be making. Um, you're going to be making a nine patch variation and you just need to make four, one from each of the uh, fabric groups and you're going to cut your fabrics out according to the directions that are in the pattern and once you have them all laid out you, then you need to just lay the blocks according to the colors and again the fabric is directional so if that bothers you you want to make sure that the um that the pad the fabric is all going in the correct direction so you're gonna cut them out, you're gonna lay them out, and you're gonna just sew them in rows. You'll sew this row, this row, and this row. And then once you have those rows sewn, you'll have something that looks like this. And again, all my hearts here, you probably can't see on this fabric, but they're all going in the same direction. So once you have those rows together and you've pressed them according to um, the directions in the book, then you're gonna pin those rows together. And I've already sewn this one, but once you've pressed the rows according to the directions, they are going in opposite directions, so they will nest easily. And you can pin those together so that they don't move. You've got one pin there, and I do like to use pins. Even though this is a fairly short row, you wanna make sure that the um, seams stay aligned and I would probably put a pin on each end and one in the middle to make it safe and secure. So this row here has been sewn. I'm going to press it up and this block here is complete. So everything, the three rows are sewn together and once you are done, you should have a six and a half inch square. If you lay your Creative Grids ruler on top of that, then you can just take your rotary cutter and clean it up if you need to. And that's it. Um, I will see you again next month. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to come by the shop. Um, anybody that works here can give you a hand. Thank you.